Hey guys, I hope that you are all good. Sorry if I'm a bit out of breath. I've literally just um, run upstairs and back down again to pick up a few pieces from ASOS that I ordered earlier on in the week because I'm going to be taking you through what I ordered yesterday from ASOS, which is um, kind of autumnal pieces as well as I think there's quite a few loungewear pieces in there or like day to day pieces that you might wear just quite casually because I always feel like when it comes to autumn time, that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. And I'm sat on the floor in my living room today and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's because I got a comment in my last fashion video that really kind of made me think about my content. Um, and the comment itself wasn't about my content particularly at all, it was about how I pronounced Givenchy, which I still can't say, I can't pronounce any kind of French vocabulary because I am terribly dyslexic and find especially foreign languages just totally alien to me but I'm I'm more than okay with that because I've been dyslexic obviously since forever and um, it's part of who I am and I'm totally okay with that but one of the comments did say um, that it was kind of a discredit to uh, my fashion knowledge and such like a fashion faux pas and it really got me thinking that Maybe I'm not portraying myself how I would like to on my channel because I very much think of myself as the girl next door, just your friend kind of sat on the floor letting you know uh, what I've picked up recently. So I'm going to do this video as much more of a vlogy style and show you all of the clothes tried on in uh, the mirror just in our hallway here so that maybe it feels a little bit more how I would like to come across and I hope that you guys understand that little ramble because it wasn't really much to do with the comment but um yeah just a thought so let's get into it and i think i'm going to open the box without talking because else the sound is going to be horrific i remember now i also ordered some boots but actually maybe i will talk you through the things that i ordered last week instead start with one which i never talk about i never talk about beauty but i do enjoy trying new things and actually i love the ordinary as a company as a whole um, i think that their prices are amazing for the product and i really wanted to try something new from them because i already have a few things in my routine that i already love and this is their peeling solution it actually looks kind of scary it almost looks like blood i feel um, and it's quite a strong mask that you can put on. I haven't actually used it yet because I'm using a retinal cream for my skin and my skin can be a little bit, like I'm definitely acne prone, so it can be a little bit temperamental. So don't try this until perhaps I might go off of the retinal cream for about a week before I give this a go. I'll have to find a little balance with them. So I'll let you know how that goes. Do any of you guys use The Ordinary? They're absolutely amazing. You should really check them out if you don't already. And then I really spontaneously picked up a headband without ordering anything else. I just saw it and I was like, yeah, I feel like I need that in my life, uh, which I won't. I'm not going to pull my hair back to do it because I know that it'll just look ridiculous in the video because I can never do my hair in a video. But it's so nice. It's got this really um, plush velvet feel to it with the pearls. I just think it's really pretty without being too evening-y. I feel like I can also wear it during the day. But I've also paired it with like a t-shirt and jeans and it's just elevated the outfit. Only thing that I will say with it is that unfortunately, I didn't remember this, but as a child, I used to get, you know when you wear a headband all day and then you get that kind of pain from where it doesn't dig in, but it just has been sat there all day. And this one, it does do that quite a bit for me, whereas my anthropology ones don't. So I don't know whether it's just tighter at the back. Um, but it doesn't annoy me. I just have to remember to take it off as soon as I get in the door. I reckon it might be best if I unpack most of these things so you don't hear all of the terrible packaging noises. But I just, I'll show you these quickly because they don't actually have much packaging on them. My first pair of autumnal boots. I hope that these fit nicely. I actually had a pair very similar to this, though they were a little bit baggier at the top. Um, and I can't remember the brand that they were from. I got them a good few years ago now. I still wear them all the time. They're really, really comfortable. I get so much wear out of them. So I thought that these could be quite nice. I do like a lighter boot. I think that it's quite feminine and easy to use. Obviously not at all practical in the rain because these are suede but still would be quite a nice everyday boot as they're not too high, but I often feel a little bit nicer when I have a bit of a heel. 
Oh, that's sad. I've just got them out of the packaging and they actually, I don't know whether that might be glue rather than dirt, but can you see that kind of scuff down there? And actually they've also got a little dot there. Oh no, what a shame because I actually think that they are really lovely and look a lot more expensive than they were. I don't know whether I just got a pair that wasn't perfect. May have to reorder to see once I've tried them on. This dress probably isn't quite the right thing to try these on with. I feel like it's a little bit short, but I do like the boots. They fit nicely on, they feel quite comfortable. The only thing that I'll say, and this is just something that you'll have to grow with, is that I feel like right now they're a little bit too structured. I want them to be a little bit baggier and just a little bit more lived in, which obviously will only come in time, but I think that they look really nice on. And they're comfortable, perfect for this transitional weather where you don't want to be particularly in heavy boots, but it's getting a bit colder, so you want to cover the toesies. And then, of course, my first knit to in a very me colour. Actually, this one is really gorgeous and soft. It just feels like it's going to be lovely. Actually, so many of you will know I had a mango jumper like this last season and loved it. It's definitely got the oversized sleeve, as you can see, and then comes in a little bit tighter, but looks like it's not going to be fitted at all around the waist, which I often like because I like having that big baggy jumper kind of feeling. What size did I get that one in? I got it in a size small. I feel like that could actually be quite cute with that headband too. There's something so nice about a fresh new jumper to start the autumn season. I love it. I mean, I'm a lover of knits, but I particularly like the oversized, relaxed, more slouchy style to it. It is definitely oversized. So if you um, size up or down or a bit in between sizes, then I'd probably go for the smaller size because it will already be oversized and it kind of is the one that kind of drapes down a bit at the back, which I always like. It's just comfy. It's actually really, really comfortable. I feel really soft, but I also just feel good in it. I don't know, straight away kind of gravitated to it. It seems to fit in all the right places. It doesn't have any odd, oh, little tag things sticking out there, but it doesn't have any odd bits over the shoulder and it just goes down nicely. Only issue is that when it starts getting a little bit cooler, it will be semi-difficult. Yeah, that might be difficult to fit into a coat. Ooh, I'm not sure if I like this or not. So it's quite a simple, in a way, simple t-shirt from New Look. Picked it up in a size 10. And again, this was kind of a bit of a basic everyday item. And the reason, the main reason why I picked it up is because I only have one tight t-shirt. That's it, just one. I usually go for oversized, quite plain, uh, baggy t-shirts. But I have been going for that tight t-shirt all of the time. Really like it, especially under items which may be a bit baggier, like the dungarees or the jumpsuits. So I wanted to pick up another one and I thought that this one would be interesting. It has a really nice stretch to it, like my grey one does. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit changeable, it's really blown out behind me and I've obviously got some of the light coming in from the front door to the side too, but you'll be able to see here. Can you see? Will it focus? Um, the detail on the top, which I do like, and also the sleeve, I think that it's quite sweet. Makes it something a little bit different than just plain tee, and I paired it with the hairband to make it feel a little bit special, but I'm not like 100% sold on it, if I'm honest. I think I feel slightly like, do I need it? Will I wear it? I think mostly I will wear it renovating rather than day to day, and do I need it? Although having said that, it's always nice to have some layering pieces this time of the year, and I don't have many tight t-shirts, so I'm 50-50. Next up, actually, I already love this one. It is so soft, like almost that silky soft in uh, knitwear, which I was kind of expecting because it's from and other stories and I just think that their quality is beautiful. Here it says I got it in a size small, but I feel like they usually have it in the um, Europe kind of sizing. No, it just says small, so I'm not sure. I'll, I'll link what size I got. Um, down below though. So it is a ribbed, talking about the ribbed t-shirt, I was obviously looking for something to go with it. This is more of a ribbed jumper. I think it's such a nice layering piece for this time of the year. Obviously it's got the long sleeve and I just love how they kind of prettily end there with the detail, it looks so nice. 
and then it's buttoned in a v-neck and again i thought that this could be really flattering with high waisted items practical color that will go with everything in my wardrobe the only thing that is different about it that wasn't online and i'm not sure this will pick up on the camera is that it's got little bobbly bits and a bit of a darker color on there um you might be able to see that a little bit better when i try it on this one isn't quite as tight as i was expecting and i'm not sure if it's baggy in the right or wrong places basically uh, but i love it i really love it i feel like i could get so much wear out this especially day to day size because it's not too um low down and i do like that it's not overly tight fitting because it's can you work going on outside not our house for once um, yeah, it's not too tight fitting, so it does feel comfortable at the same time. Color is gorgeous. Again, it's just that easy day to day, practical, basic piece. No, I think I love it. I think this is the piece that I wasn't sure about though. I'll be in London next week, so I might go into the end of the story store and try on. Did I say that this one was a small? I feel like it was, so I'm not sure I want to go down and the sleeves. Um, I'd say I have kind of normal length arms, but the sleeves are long, which kind of doesn't bother me because to be honest, I kind of like that look in the autumn time when it looks a little bit too big for you, uh, but obviously you don't want to be swimming in it. This is definitely one of those items that I don't think I'll be able to do it justice just by holding it up. But as you can probably tell, I was looking for summer knits because I'm excited for autumn, but I was looking for ones which were kind of airy and still quite light because particularly right now I think it's still quite warm but it just feels a little bit more measurable outside. I thought that this could be really really pretty. It's nice at this time of the year to be able to get some nicer knits because you're not just covering them in coats all the time. I tend to like to pick some up which are a little bit prettier. This one is off the shoulder. Only only thing which I think is totally being blown out on camera right now is that it is a very white white so i feel like it really would only be for this time of year when i've got a little bit more of a tan because as soon as i get paler this is just going to be like totally ghost laura <laughs> it's super pretty actually i was a little bit worried that it would look on the twee side but actually i think it looks a little bit more bohemian than it does twee sleeves are just absolutely gorgeous really really nice i like it and though it is it is stark white you can see a little bit more of the detail here as well and i think for how detailed it is it was actually a really good price because it's asos own brand the perfect kind of jumper for this time of the year because it still feels summery but you're also getting into jumpers and just like how sweet it is here how it kind of like pulls do you know it's got like a tighter band here and then this gorgeous frill to it, oh, really sweet. Now, I know that I have too many jumpsuits, <laughs> but hear me out here. I wanted to look in the ASOS sale, well actually I just looked at jumpsuits and I went low to high, because I wanted a few items of clothing that I didn't feel precious about. I feel like even when I'm not renovating in the house, it's still, it's not like mucky, but I don't feel like wearing silk tops or something around, especially if I'm just relaxing during the day. So I set, I'm pretty sure all of them are under 30 pounds. I may have sneakily gone up to 35 on a few of them, but um, hopefully not. Hopefully I did keep within my budget. So I picked up this one, which I feel like is going to be probably a keeper for me, especially doing some DIY over the next few months. Picked it up in, doesn't say what size, must say somewhere, okay, UK size 10. And it does say on here that it was £32, but I'm not sure if it was in the ASOS sale and what price I picked it up for. So it's in the khaki colour, it's that really nice, almost linen-y material, but I don't think that it's in, I feel like it's more of a cotton three quarter ish sleeve i'd say but you can roll it up and then it's got a short bottom whether or not i'm going to get the wear out of this one in time for it to get cold i'm not sure um but i'm still thinking september october this year this might be really handy to be wearing all day just to be comfortable in the house 
but I am that odd person that um, I can't wear pyjamas um, even for a morning before getting like an itchy feeling and I like to look put together during the day so, <laughs> so it's good for me to have options that are still comfortable. I'm really wishing that I had seen this one earlier on in the summer. It's got that lovely effortless really slung together feel to it. It is exceedingly comfortable. I like that the top almost feels like a really nice linen shirt and then it just gathers in. Ah, I just wish that I'd found it earlier on because even with renovating, and I know that you can get really hot when you're kind of working, I also feel that maybe I'll only be able to get a wear out of it for a month. But then summer comes around again and if it's at a good price, maybe I should keep it. <laughs> One of the brands which I actually always search for on ASOS to see what they've got new in is YAS, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and I picked up this dress, their dresses in particular I just feel are really my style, they're good quality, um, they wash really well, I just like them. And when I initially saw this in the box I thought, oh I'm not sure about the colours, maybe it's a bit busy and it's a bit loud, but it's kind of growing on me actually. The colours are nice, I'm just not sure that I like the forest green we'll have to see the skirt looks like it's going to be beautiful though and really really flowy um and it's just an easy dress that's v-neck nice little cute sleeve to it can't remember if it was quite fitted but it's almost got that cupped detail around like the bust area and then it's got a few darts coming down so i'm hoping that it, it does kind of come in at the waist and cinch me in instead of just being baggy we'll have to see is the color nice or is it kind of crazy does it make your eyes go a bit funny <laughs> i feel like probably for you looking through the cat like through the lens it will look a bit crazy i don't know but i'm feeling quite into pattern this season which um i don't know i've been out of for the last few years but for some reason this autumn i'm i'm ready <laughs> Actually, I love the print. It's making me feel really autumnal and the skirt is gorgeous and flowy and pretty, but it's not for me. Uh, mainly because of the neckline. It's just, it's not sitting right on me. I feel like it's sitting too high and it's not flattering. And then this bit that I was talking about, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit lower down, but it's quite high. And to me, it's just looking a bit like a maternity dress. Can you imagine? I mean, it would it would be the perfect sweet little maternity dress. I mean, you can't particularly see much. It's just a lot of material around this area. <laughs> so yeah, it's a no for me. Just two more items now. A ripped t-shirt, funny enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can tell what I was looking for. I'm not sure whether this one looks a little bit short in the body. I definitely don't like t-shirts which are short in the body, but feels really nice. like the colour. Yeah, I feel like I could dress this one up and dress it down too, so maybe I could wear it at the moment, just a little bit more out nicely, and then I could have it as a bit more of a scruffy top to you, you guys ever do that kind of thing. I absolutely love the colour of this one and for some reason I also really like the neckline. There's nothing particularly special about it, I just think that it looks nice. Colour gorgeous, 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 but I can't help but feel like it looks a little bit cheap. I think mainly because it's creased, so maybe if I iron it I'll like it, but yeah, just a good basic for the wardrobe. And then last but not least, definitely a bit more of a summary item, I feel like this one must have been in the sale, again it will be like a, um, oh I'm totally lying to you because I actually have another jumpsuit upstairs and a dress that I'll show you that I picked up from ASOS last week. Um, this is a size 10 from New Look and I just thought it was so cute. Um, this is 110% something that I will wear renovating, but I wouldn't really, I mean, I'd wear it out, but more to do the shopping or I don't know, maybe, maybe a cute picnic. It would be quite sweet. <laughs> this is so cute. It looks like a little kid's romper in striped, but I love the stripes because it's almost, it makes it seem a little bit less childlike because they're really beautiful. The material looks linen and it's in a peachy brownie orange and blue tone i'm hoping that they'll be three-quarter length i'm also hoping that it's 
comfortable to kind of bend down in, sit cross-legged and that kind of thing. But whilst I remember because I totally forgot about them, let me um, run up again and get uh, the other jumpsuit and dress. I'm 100% channeling my inner five-year-old in this jumpsuit, but it's really quite cute. I actually think that it's nice, I don't know. I would never wear it, I'm not doing it much justice. I would always put a little t-shirt under it, maybe even a long sleeve t-shirt as it gets colder. I mean, it does look like a kid kind of outfit, especially because the crotch is very, very low. But I think that I like it. I feel like it could be my alternative for painting overalls rather than because sometimes denim dungarees actually aren't that comfortable so you feel <laughs> i feel like some kim's romper clothes would be perfect and this kind of fits the bill but also i'm not sure i'm quite modeling it right but it does also have that kind of like californian girl relaxed vibes i just need to style it up i think excuse how creased they are they're both really creased but first off this dress which you will have seen the top of in my other video because i was wearing it then but it is a maxi dress and it's just so autumnal and pretty but i'll try it on you'll just have to excuse um yeah the crease because i don't feel like i can really show you here the full glory of that one Okay, so even when it's creased and it's on, it still doesn't do it justice, but you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. It looks so lovely once it's all ironed. It's got lots of slits through it. So it's got them at the side, one in the middle, quite a few. So I've actually worn this one out and when it blows in the wind, it's stunning when it kind of like opens up and is all free flowing. I will be honest, this item for me was one of those a, a little bit silly items where I got it out of the pack and I was like oh, I absolutely love it but on reflection I wish that I had gone it down the size because I just I have a little bit of room I have a bit of room around the kind of v-neck area as you can kind of see and also around the belted area and this is as tight as it will go so yeah shouldn't have been so eager to wear it it should have waited and perhaps tried it on with some other things but lovely item for this pre-autumn transitional days because if you are like me you'll probably want to be in dresses for ages i love them all through the year and this is just the perfect piece to kind of take you through to the colder months and then this was another just cute lounging at home little play suit again in a khaki kind of color i did go for apart from the striped one which obviously obviously was a bit lighter i just go for colors which were a bit darker because if i'm gonna be i don't know doing diy jobs in them then much more practical to have darker colors it's got the really sweet little strappy bows it's in the jersey this is so comfortable i'm not gonna lie i probably should have washed this one by now because i have worn it so much every day i get up and i'm like can i wear it again um it's got really wide legs i will admit it isn't the most practical thing in the world but i love it i love it so i'll pop that one on so you can see it too and here it is the thing that i have been totally living in it is just, I don't know, it's just that easy piece that I was wearing it the other day with a kind of headband uh, whilst I was doing some work. And I know it's quite like girly and pretty and a little bit on the childish side, but I also think that you can make it look really grown up and on the more effortless, just oversized clothing. Oh, that's my tummy, it's lunchtime, I'm obviously hungry. I'm, I'm having paella for lunch, which is a total digression, but that's where my head's going right now. Um, yeah, I love it. And that is all of the pieces that I picked up now. I've got no others hidden around the house. Let me know if you liked this more chilled video. I think that I prefer them, so hopefully you guys do too. And if I do it again, um, I've actually got the white company. Let me have a look. I've got the white company right here. We are looking at getting a mirror for that space, which will fit perfectly. Oh, they don't actually show they've got a picture of them here but they do these really gorgeous kind of fine metal they've just got like a thin let me just show you a really thin rim to them and i think it'll be perfect for our style but i'm just waiting i do have their privilege card but i'm just waiting till they have 
20% off because it is not a cheap mirror <laughs> so at some point that will be looking a little bit more put together but anyway i hope that you guys are all having a good week so far and i will see you in the next one bye